Alright guys, hey, welcome back. Miss Forgren here giving you guys a lesson today on light waves versus uh, sound waves. We're going to piggyback off a little bit of uh, what we learned last week, what you learned with Mr. G on reflection, refraction, and absorption, and talk uh, specifically about the difference between these two waves today. So uh, you learned about two different types of waves last week, electromagnetic waves, and our main example of electromagnetic waves are light waves, as well as mechanical waves. Um, mechanical waves, uh, Mr. G gave you a few different examples, but uh, the main example that we're going to be talking about today are sound waves. Now, because light waves are electromagnetic waves, while sound waves are mechanical waves, they behave differently in different media and um, actually travel at different speeds. So we are going to talk about that today. Now, light waves can travel through empty space. And another word for empty space is a vacuum. So not this vacuum, like you would use to suck up dirt off the floor, but um, we're just gonna use the word vacuum as another word for empty space. A lot of space itself, um, outer space, uh, is considered a vacuum because there is a lot of empty space in there um, and light can travel through it without needing a media to travel through. And um, that is uh, going to help us. We want to keep that in mind. When we think about how um, these two waves travel, light waves versus sound waves, in terms of speed. Now, when we think about uh, the speed of light versus the speed of sound, Let's just think about thunder and lightning for a second. And uh, I want you to think, think to, you know, any thunderstorm you've ever experienced where you see lightning and hear thunder, which of these two things happens first? Do you hear thunder first and then see the lightning strike? Or do you see the lightning strike and then hear the thunder afterwards? Now you see the lightning strike and then you usually hear the thunder afterwards. Now, the reason why uh, you see lightning and hear thunder is because thunder is actually the sound that lightning makes when it travels through the air. So um, you can't have lightning without thunder. Thunder is actually the sound of lightning. But why don't we hear thunder and see lightning at the exact same time? The reason for that is let's think about light, right? Remember back to our lesson on light years and how we measure distances in space? What is the fastest thing in the universe? Why do we use light years to measure distances in space? The fastest thing is light. Light uh, waves move faster than anything else in the known universe. So light waves travel faster than sound waves. So during that storm, any thunderstorm where you see lightning and you hear thunder, you see the lightning strike first before hearing the sound that it makes. Because that light of, uh, that the lightning is producing um, is traveling faster than the sound of its thunder that usually comes later. Now, sometimes you'll notice that uh, the thunder will come right after a lightning strike. And uh, what that just means is that the strike happened a lot closer to you, probably in your neighborhood. All right, so we know that light travels faster than sound, and I gave you that example of um, thunder and lightning. But um, the speed of both light and sound is affected by uh, different media, right? And we remember that a medium is um, any type of matter, a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Um, and when we talked about sound waves at the beginning, I told you that sound waves, these mechanical waves, require a medium to travel through. But there's actually a, a specific type of medium that um, sound waves travel the fastest through. Um, and I want you to think about it now, get uh, some ideas in your head. I, I won't ask you uh, this question for points, but what do you think? Do you think sound is going to travel fastest in solids 
liquids, or gases. They actually travel, sound waves travel the fastest through solids. And if you're like, you know what, Ms. Forkren, that doesn't sound right. Um, I'm going to call you out on that. I, I, uh, sounds fake. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, let's think about molecules in a solid, right? Are molecules in a solid closely packed or are they far apart? Right, we know that molecules are really closely packed in a solid. And what that actually means is that the sound waves can travel more quickly through solids uh, when the particles uh, in the solid vibrate due to the initial sound wave they're colliding much more quickly than they would in a liquid or gas because in liquids or gases the particles are farther apart so it takes longer for them to collide with each other to have that sound wave travel through that medium but light waves are different, right? Light waves do not require a medium to travel. They can travel through empty space, otherwise known as a vacuum. Once again, not this vacuum, but they can travel through empty space. And that is actually where light travels the fastest, through a vacuum or through empty space. And that's because there's no friction uh, that is causing the electromagnetic waves to slow down. So in an empty space, you have an absence of stuff. You know, you don't have any gases, any solids, any liquids in that uh, vacuum of empty space that is going to uh, rub or cause friction against the um, electromagnetic waves. So there's nothing to slow them down as they uh, travel through that vacuum. And actually, light actually travels the slowest through diamonds very specifically. And I want us to think about that for a second and take a little review of uh, last week's lesson. Uh, let's think about it. Why would light travel the slowest through something like a diamond? Now, what is occurring as light travels from the air, which we know um, is a gas, one type of medium, into a diamond? which is a solid. What is happening there as the light travels from the air into a diamond? Well, they are, uh, that light is traveling from one medium to another. And what do we know occurs when light travels from one medium to, um, to another? Does light reflect? Does light refract or is light absorbed when it travels from one medium to another? Right, we know it refracts. So as light waves enter the diamond, changing from one medium to another, from the air around it into that diamond, the light waves are changing speed. Specifically, they are slowing down. So light travels the fastest through a vacuum and the slowest through things like solids and the absolute slowest through diamonds.